The SR-72, also called the Son of Blackbird, is more than just an aircraft, it's a hypersonic beast clocking Mach 6, that's 4,600 miles per hour, or in human terms, New York to DC faster than you can finish your morning coffee. Compared to its iconic father, the SR-71 Blackbird, which maxed out at Mach 3, this newer jet says, hold my afterburner. The SR-72 soars 85,000 feet in the air, basically on the edge of space and surveys land faster than your GPS can update. China and Russia have been cooking up hypersonic projects of their own, but this bad boy is rewriting the rules of military aviation with a kind of swagger that screams, catch me if you can, you can't. Even missiles break a sweat trying to catch it. Just like its older sibling, the SR-72 is allergic to being hit. The SR-71 dodged over 4,000 missiles during its career, and the SR-72 is built to continue the tradition with some seriously turbocharged upgrades. With its terrifying speed and agility, even the most advanced surface-to-air missiles struggle to lock on. It practically outruns threats before they even launch. This isn't just a jet, it's a ghost with jet fuel. Acting as both a surveillance aircraft and a strike machine, it's more versatile than a Swiss Army knife at a ninja convention. Whether it's spying from the edge of space or delivering hypersonic punches, the SR-72 is built to dominate. Enemies can try, but catching this thing, not in this lifetime, it can spot a dinner plate from the stratosphere. Don't let the spy plane label trick you into thinking it's all cameras and no firepower. The SR-72 is packed with surveillance tech so advanced, even Google Earth might file a complaint. Its ultra-sensitive sensors can detect objects the size of a dinner plate from 16 miles above the Earth, even through thick clouds, pitch darkness, or an entire layer of enemy denial. But it's not just peeping, it's packing. Unlike the SR-71, this one isn't shy about getting aggressive. With hypersonic missiles on board, it can locate a target and neutralize it before your morning toast is done. It's basically a flying satellite with a hit list, and nobody's safe once it locks on. Its engine design is basically a sci-fi flex. How do you propel a jet that flies faster than a speeding bullet, and then some? You call in the geniuses at Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne, and they deliver a propulsion marble called the turbine-based combined cycle engine. This isn't your grandpa's jet engine. It's a shape-shifting power plant that starts as a regular turbine engine, purring along up to Mach 3. But then, like a transformer with thrust issues, it seamlessly switches into scramjet mode, gulping in supersonic air and using raw speed as fuel. That transition is no joke, it requires an intricate network of redirecting air intakes and automated doors that switch modes without turning the aircraft into a flying fireball. Imagine your car turning into a rocket halfway down the freeway and still obeying traffic laws. It's part rocket science, part wizardry, and 100% overkill in the best way possible. The heat could cook a steak, so engineers got crafty. Flying at hypersonic speed is like wrestling with the sun. At Mach 6, the air friction around the plane creates enough heat to melt aluminum like it's butter on a summer sidewalk. So how do you stop your aircraft from turning into airborne soup? Cooling systems built directly into the plane's structure, that's how. Engineers use 3D printing to craft internal heat channels that circulate coolant fluids around critical parts. It's like the aircraft has its own built-in AC system, but on steroids. Even the windows are made from synthetic sapphire, a material strong enough to survive both hypersonic temperatures and the occasional bug splatter from orbit. It's 3D printed like a sci-fi Lego set. Traditional aircraft are built with sheets of metal hammered and riveted together. That doesn't cut it at hypersonic speeds. Enter additive manufacturing, aka 3D printing, Engineers at Lockheed Martin are using powdered metals and carbon composite mixes to print the SR-72's parts layer by layer. This process allows for heat-reducing designs that couldn't be made with old-school tools. Want a frame with embedded coolant pathways? Done. Want materials that gradually shift from metal to ceramic without cracking? Also done. This isn't your cousin's 3D-printed chess set. This is aerospace wizardry that makes Hogwarts look like a middle school science fair. It launches missiles without slowing down. Firing a missile while flying at Mach 6 is the aerospace equivalent of juggling flamethrowers on a unicycle at the edge of space. 
Most conventional weapons would be reduced to metallic confetti under the intense heat and G-forces involved. That's why the SR-72 doesn't mess with standard payloads. Instead, it houses specially engineered hypersonic missiles and internal bays, shielded behind stealthy, heat-resistant doors. These doors pop open for mere milliseconds, just long enough to release a missile without throwing the entire jet off balance. And these aren't your run-of-the-mill drop-and-drift bombs they're guided, high-speed projectiles that continue flying at hypersonic velocities. The enemy doesn't get an alert, they get an impact crater. With this setup, the SR-72 transforms from a silent observer into a lightning-fast executioner, striking targets before ground radar even finishes booting up. It's not just a weapon, it's an airborne ambush. It's smarter than your car, and maybe you. At Mach 6, the landscape below becomes a blur, and the margin for error becomes microscopic. That's why the SR-72 isn't just a jet, it's a brain with wings. Human pilots simply can't react fast enough, so this aircraft is guided by an onboard AI system that makes real-time decisions faster than you can blink. It adjusts for wind, heat, altitude shifts, and threats without needing a snack break. Some variants don't even have a cockpit, because the whole thing can be remotely piloted or fly autonomously. It's like giving Siri a jet and a clearance to fire. This blend of automation and autonomy means the SR-72 doesn't just fly smarter, it flies safer faster, and with a tactical edge no human alone could match. Welcome to the future, where your autopilot might outrank you. It took 15 years, billions of dollars, and a lot of sweat. Let's talk money because the SR-72 isn't just expensive, it's build a space dragon expensive. Each aircraft costs nearly $1 billion, which is more than the GDP of some small countries and definitely more than your entire neighborhood's housing market combined. Even the bolts on this jet cost $100 a pop, crafted from alloys that laugh in the face of molten lava. With some materials fetching up to $6,000 per pound and cooling systems that could double as space-age refrigerators, this plane doesn't just fly at flexes. Still, many argue it's a sound investment. In a world where seconds matter, the SR-72 delivers intelligence and firepower before anyone else can even scramble. It may burn fuel like a hungry dragon, but in high-stakes missions, that speed is priceless. It's the future of war, and maybe peace too. The SR-72 isn't just another fancy plane, it's the blueprint for the next era of warfare. With the ability to replace everything from satellites to strike drones, it's like consolidating your entire air force into one supersonic mega platform. Gone are the days of Intel lag and delayed decisions. The SR-72 can spot, track, and strike all in one pass, all in minutes. Critics may say the funding could go to social programs, but defense strategists argue that overwhelming tech superiority often prevents wars rather than causes them. When your adversary knows you can hit them before their coffee brews, they tend to tread lightly. With its maiden flight expected in 2025, the SR-72 isn't just changing the skies, it's redrawing the lines of power and peace on Earth. If you found the SR-72 as jaw-dropping as we did, hit that like button and show this stealth beast some love. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got more mind-blowing tech, military marvels, and aviation legends coming your way. Got thoughts? Drop them in the comments. We read everyone. Want to fly deeper into the future? Until next time, stay curious and stay fast.